And there we go. So these two youngsters here, you're looking at a year, if not a little bit, a little bit younger. There we go. One's coming to investigate us. So take care, excellent question about elephants. Do elephants shed skin on a periodic basis? So elephants are mammals. I, I know that it looks like these elephants have really wrinkly skin that looks like it might need to sloth off. Um, but no, their skin's very much like ours. We don't shed our skin. Look, you get skin follicles that come off, so I guess that's gonna happen with Ellie's. But it's mostly reptiles that will shed their skin, something like a snake or a lizard. Those little ones. Sorry, baby elephants are one of my favorite things to watch. They just make you laugh. Takes them about two years to learn how to use their trunks, so they're not very adept at using them. And they also are quite playful. So right now they're busy trying to figure out how to eat what mum eats and what their aunties and cousins and older siblings eat. And then they'll get bored of what they're doing and start wrestling with each other. Let's just take a minute. We'll sit and watch them quietly, listen to the sounds of the bush. Sinak, that's a really great question. Sinak's asking, why do elephants uproot trees? So elephants, like we talked about earlier, need to constantly be eating. They're also the architects of the bush, like we discussed. But they're also extremely intelligent, so they're not going to decimate a whole area for their food source. Also, the food sources that they eat are not always available at every single time of year. So what you're getting when they're uprooting trees is it's the time of year where a lot of the trees that have uh, lost their leaves during a small period during the dry season or winter season, and all of the nutrients have gone into those roots, and so they're uprooting the trees to get to the nutrient base, which is inside those roots. They also um, sometimes uproot smaller trees that have tubers that are underneath them, not from the tree, but from um, other, other plants to eat those tubers, like a potato. <laughs> Sorry. So you saw those two little ones wrestling, now this one's trying to figure out he wants to eat that tree because the elephant to its right, the older either cousin or sibling, is eating near that tree. Now he's annoyed <laughs> with the tree, so he's going to push back because he can't get to the leaves. <laughs> Sorry, it's hysterical every time. The sweetest, Megan. So there's a bird just to the left and up that's sitting on the perch just, Seb, if you go left, like a meter. You see where I'm looking? That throw on. No worries. So where the little one is, go left and then up, just sitting there, it looks oh, yeah, like yeah, above the one. back. So we've got a, a lilac breasted roller that's sitting there. We're just trying to get it on camera for you. Now, something that's interesting about what this roller is doing is lilac-breasted rollers and fork-tailed drongos, we had one earlier, but I'm not seeing one now. When there's a big bush fire, when the fire is coming through, insects are obviously trying to get away from, oop, there it goes down, beautiful colors. There's an insect it's finding, come back up, and he's just landed there. Perfect, thanks, Seb. Um, they're, they're some of the first, they'll go to the front line of where this fire is to catch these half burned insects. So when these elephants are moving around and feeding like what they're doing, they're dislodging insects. So fork-tailed drongos are known to do this. And then this, um, uh, this throat bond, this lilac breasted roller is also doing a very similar thing. He's, he's utilizing, it's called mutualism. It's basically where the roller benefits um, and, and doesn't, the elephant's not harmed in any way. It's a type of symbiosis. So we talked earlier about Byron taking over his birds. One thing that Byron doesn't have yet is a kukul. And in the background, I could hear a kukul, a Birchall's kukul, also known as the rain bird. When the barometric pressure drops, you can hear boop, 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 boop. And we were talking today about whether or not it'll rain, maybe this afternoon or this evening, rather. <laughs> 